guys welcome back to my channel simply native here and today we're going to be doing a try on and review of the natasha denona glam palette this is my very first time trying one of her big palettes i do have a mini palette that one my son got me for my for christmas one a uh, year but this palette is absolutely gorgeous this thing is so up my alley like I'm all about it and um I don't know if you guys know this but uh Jeffree Star came out with a nudes palette and um dropping things go figure <laughs> um Jeffree Star came out with a nudes palette and I don't support Jeffree Star anymore there's just too much drama there so I decided that this was probably the next best thing and sorry, I can't really turn it uh, so you can't see my thing, but it is gorgeous. Like, I think this is going to be a really great everyday palette. And I'm going to start out with um, Blend, this one right here. Um, probably because it's probably the most neutral. The other ones are a little bit cool toned and I really want to stay neutral today. But let me see how many pal how many shadows are in here this is one two three four five and then there's three so there's 15 shadows in here so this is a pretty expensive palette like each shadow pan is probably um 15 divided by 65 that's probably oh my gosh it's a this is an expensive palette I will put up the little numbers right here to tell you exactly how expensive it is per shadow um but I'm telling you this is gorgeous. So if it's worth the money, you're going to hear about it right here in this video. And if it's not, you're going to hear about it right here in this video. So <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> We're about to jump right in. And this color is called blend, like I said. And there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but I mean, I don't care about kick up, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to go right in. Oh my God god what okay already loving this i'm using a big fluffy brush this is a jaclyn hill a morphe jaclyn hill jh jh30 just a big fluffy brush Oh, that is so pretty. For my first time using this, my first impression is already that I'm in love. I'm a little sad that these pans are so small. I was actually expecting this to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't know why, but... Not like I've never seen a, a Natasha Denona palette before, but yeah, that's definitely a pretty color. I just dipped in one more time just to see if I can blend this just a little bit more. Super blendable, very pigmented, exactly the color that I thought it would be in the pan showed up on my eyes. So that's awesome. I love that. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a smaller brush, like a smaller, this is like a pointy brush kind of. Mm, maybe I'll do, no, I'm not gonna do pointy. I'm gonna do more of like a tapered blending brush like this, um, that you know, kind of has a flat edge to it a little, see? And I'm going to, wow, that's really pigmented. I better tap that off. Okay, and I'm just gonna go right into my crease. <gasps> oh, I love this. You guys, I love this. Okay. This is a first impression and a review too. Um, so I'm telling you right now already, I'm in love with this. I need to get just a little bit more down here. There we go. Mm 
I'm bringing what I have left over into the middle, into the corner of my crease. Use the other side of my brush and just blend this. Hmm. So look, it's looking a little patchy, to be honest. Just after I added a little bit more, it's looking a little patchy. And I'm having to blend and blend and blend. I'm trying not to use such a heavy hand, but... Okay, that's blended. It didn't have to blend it a ton. Okay, so let's try using maybe a, a lighter hand on this side. Because, you know, sometimes with with really pigmented eyeshadow you just have to be careful not to press too hard i just want to be sure that i get a good blend Okay, that's actually looking really good. I'm gonna... Okay. I am going to... I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this... Oh, that, I'm sorry, that was in the color Smoke right here. I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is called Lash Line. And I'm gonna do that actually right on my lash line down here and in the corner. That shadow is super duper pigmented. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take this same blending brush that I used in my crease. I'm just gonna blend this sucker out. Yeah, that looks really pretty, I like it. And do the other eye. I'm gonna probably smoke that thing out a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use this same blending brush. I like it. It wasn't a ton of work, which is great. I'm going to uh, probably use another brush to do the lower lash line, a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna use the color smoke, this one right here on the on the edge. I have a little tiny bit of fallout. I think my powder will sweep that away though, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna get my um, my liner brush. I'm gonna use that same color lash line. I'm actually gonna take it right here too. Just to define this corner. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that color. These are like more gray toned colors. So this is probably uh, actually more like the cremated palette more than anything. I'm gonna take a small flat uh, blender and blend out this bottom lash. It's smoky, but natural. Like, I kind of love that about it. It's like dramatic, but in a really natural way. <laughs> and I really love that about it. And I don't think I'm gonna really fuss with it too much more. I'm gonna 
sweep sweep away that powder and maybe clean up the edge a little tiny bit. Okay, so that's the that's you know, there's a couple other mattes in here, but they're like super light toned, and I might just take a clean a, like a clean blending brush or like flat topped and take this color called crease this one right here and just blend out this edge I didn't really even need to because it blended so well the first time you know I'm excited to try these shimmers really excited actually yeah that's so pretty all right so I'm gonna go into um, I better put down some glitter glue I have a feeling I'm gonna need some because I want it to last all day put down some glitter glue for my shimmer shades okay glitter glue is on I'm gonna try this. Okay, so this one's called this one's called outer eyelid, and this one's called center eyelid. Oh, I just noticed all. <laughs> These are all named by how you should be using them. How cute is that? Trend. Okay, so this is called transition, crease, inner corner, outer eyelid, center eyelid, smoke, blend. Lash line, inner corner, center eyelid. How cute is that? I love that about it, actually. I really do because um, it's so easy to use. I mean, honestly, if you're a beginner, this is like the perfect palette. Now, perfect a beginner probably wouldn't spend this much money on a palette. Like, what is it, $65 or something like that? But honestly, it would be really easy if you were a beginner. So, okay, let's try this one called Center Eyelid, and it's on the bottom here. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use a small little lip brush, and I'm gonna put that, just like it says, in the center of my eyelid. I love it. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to bring that all the way that way. All the way to almost almost to the corner. You guys, if you ever need your shimmers to like really pop, use a glitter glue. The Too Faced glitter glue is the bomb for shimmer shadows. You guys, that's so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna do this other color called Inner Corner, this one right up here. I think even though I'm not like doing, I am doing an Inner Corner, but I'm, I think Inner Corner means like, like this Inner Corner, and I'm gonna put it there too. I'm gonna blend these two together a little. Stunning. This is stunning. Oh, I'm so happy I got this. So happy, so happy. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put this in my inner and in this inner corner here too. And down a little bit probably. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it. I am loving that. I'm gonna put some liner on and 
throw some mascara on and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts, uh, my review um, on whether or not this palette is worth it. You know, $65 is a lot of money. So I'll be right back in three, two, one. All right, guys, I'm back. I have my liner and I did do lashes. I had to do them because I'm using my new velour lash line. Uh, it's called Lash and Go. And this stuff makes your lashes just go on so easy. Like I can put my lashes on in less than five minutes when before it would take forever. But anyway, that's besides the point. I decided to put lashes on because I just love to wear lashes now. And I mean, can you blame me? You guys, this eye makeup, <sighs> it reminds me of the Sultry palette because it has those like cool tone browns. And even though I'm like a neutral, I just love, I can wear pretty much any kind of eyeshadow because I'm neutral, which is great. But at the same time, I really love the cool tones on me. And I'm telling you, I just, I'm in love with this right now. So I have to say, even though I hate that this outside of the packaging gets really gross and nasty, just like the Patrick Ta did. I hate that. I wish this was more like a matte cover, maybe a matte white, even though it would get like grubby looking, it's still better than a bunch of fingerprints. Um, the nice thing about this too is that these can all be like depotted if you see the back of it. Um, they can be depotted if you wanted to and put them into like a Z palette very easily. Um, other than that, the price, I mean, do I have other palettes like this? The Sultry palette is very similar to this, um, but not exactly like this because this is more light colors. Like this is your everyday glam or you could do super glam. You would just need a black shadow to make it like really smoky glam. Um, but I think this um, one called Lash Line, this one right here in the middle, that actually gets you pretty smoky. Like I do have liner on my, um, my water line right now. If I wanted to smoke it out more, which I don't, I could um, and make it a little darker if I wanted to. So this is a pretty versatile uh, palette. I think that you could do it for daytime, for nighttime, super glam or not super glam. Um, just every day like if you want an everyday palette and you're willing to spend $65 it's definitely worth it I think it's super blendable the pigments are just amazing um, I literally didn't have to hardly do any work once I lightened up my hand a little bit my blending was a little bit better sometimes they can get a little heavy-handed um, but other than that I think this is definitely for me in my opinion worth it because I think I would wear it every single day I think I'm going to be reaching for this a lot and I wish this would have come out at the beginning of summer I don't know why it would have come out in fall or almost in fall um, because to me these are like summer colors like summer glam but at the same time you can do glam whenever you want. It doesn't have to be a season. There's no season for glam. But um, anyway, this is such a good palette, you guys. If you think that you like this, like I look, and it's um, right up your alley, you will not be disappointed. But those are my final thoughts, you guys. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye!